Welcome back, nobles. Today we're going to be playing the medium. We're going to be starting a new game here. It all starts with a dead girl. No, oh, she's gonna rape her. No. Don't do it, man. You're better than this. No, he's got a gun. He's gonna kill her. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. Ah, uh, oh, so that's her dream. Ah, and she's probably the little girl in that. Interesting. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If, if they, they only knew. knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. Ah, so we have, have to find, find his tie clip. Tie My tie father's tie clip, I see. October 2. Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels. 3. Funeral at 10. 4. Ultrasound. 7. Our Lady of the Rosary. 9. Biopsy. 10. Send package to Moraine. 14. Neurologist visit. 16. Funeral at 12.30. 18. Ultrasound. 22. Ne neurosurgeon visit. 23. Funeral at 9. Funeral at 10. 27. Pick up Moraine from train station. November. All Saints Day. 2. All Souls Day. 5. Surgery. Nice to see you too. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you. Hey too. kitty. Jack's room. Hey kitty. It's 
like he never kitty kitty he's very so sad over it and he's old I used to think I'd never fit in but Jack he didn't mind my weirdness he kept telling me I was special Jack was a humble religious man he ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Hey, be a good kitty. No hiss. No hissing. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even mm -hmm. that couldn't dampen his spirit. Oh, for, I forget. Q. 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 <gasps> what is this? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. <gasps> yes, it's tie clip. Heck yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Okay. First, let's check out the different rooms. Come on, we'll do this just for sake of sake. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. Looks so real. That's, why That's so crazy. Graphics on this game is unreal. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. So we're getting a lot of backstory here. Every time I go and view these things, we're getting a lot of backstory. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. And time for some tea and crumpets, Mum. Funeral home key. Yes, yes. Like the kitty needs some food. Looks nourishing. Kitty, come get some food. Kitty, kitty. Here you go. Oh, you're What's a your good face? kitty. You're a good kitty. Glad to see you're still kicking around. Hmm. Let's read. Mina from Sarah Mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says members of the Sarah's Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be burned. This casket is meant for the 
Utility Coal Company, they added. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept the Cicerza mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside of the company headquarters in Chichi, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission projecting st stability in a post-Cold War world. Early today, U.S. Bill Clinton d delivered a major foreign policy just to the commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commanded the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasizes the fact that his country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europeans' peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided democracy and peaceful European has also been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of the Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young d democracies assuring their future distribution to the security and stability of Europe. Interesting. Is this a depiction of when... Oh, 1999. I see, I see. So this this video game is based in 1999. Interesting. I can't believe it's all still here. Stop getting all emotional over Jack. Jack. Dads die sometimes, okay? As long as he wasn't too young, it's okay. Just need to... Be okay. Huh. Be okay. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Looks like it's looked like this is his. F this is her father. Interesting. Where's my dad when I need him? He could do this stuff in a jiffy. In a jiffy. Good. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Stop getting all emotional. Shit. I mean, it depends on how young he was, but you see, people die someday. It's a real thing, you know. What the frick is this? This is like some cult book from 1984. What is this? I ain't touching that. Getting out of here. Not conjuring up any demons. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that... Oh, so she has some kind of powers that we're going to learn about throughout the game, I guess. Interesting. Now we got to go upstairs. Go to the funeral home. I'm assuming. Jack taught me to accept my all my foster parents. Of all my foster parents. He was the only one you thought as a gift. He was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. The last goodbye funeral home. <laughs> That's a nice name, the last goodbye. Makes sense, right?
Jack's in the prep room. Why is there, why is it in every freaking horror game, in every freaking horror movie, there's freaking crosses and people are so religious, but yet they get possessed by these demons. It's like the oddest thing. <gasps> there she is with his dad. Prep room key. Here it is. All right. It's time to open the door. Down the basement? This girl is stupid. Go down in the basement by yourself. We all know how this ends in every horror game and horror movie. Come on. Come on. The logic here is just. Why? It's not okay. sure if I'm ready for this. Hopefully your father was old enough. Maybe he was young. Maybe he was in his... He could have been in, like, his 50s. That is a bit young. special clip no maybe he wasn't old Where's your tie? they don't specify how he actually ended up dying snazzy wouldn't have it any, wouldn't other, have way. It any other way no we wouldn't making you look fine and proper Yes, yes, I didn't yes. I expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? people read oh fetch the signs that's closed oh. <gasps> who's there hello who's there crap is she like the ghost whisper she has to whisper to ghosts and like help them move on and then there's these really scary instances that happen because she can see the ghosts there's some strange aura around her. Frick, why do the lights have to be- Oh! Oh, frick. Oh, frick. No, shadows, no. Shadows are no good. See, I told you not to go down in the basement. I told you! I told you! Your father's tie clip can wait.
Oh. Ooh. Ooh, who's in there? Who's in there? Oh! What the hell? Whoa. Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. Oh, whoa. So many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. So she I goes into separate realities and sees dead people. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging. Interesting. Where is that thing? Miss Jack, you should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? It must be weird when people look at her... It's not important. ...and see her talking to no one you in reality. Mine. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. Why, sweet? Jack, don't worry about it. She's holding the air. It's time to <laughs> She is the ghost whisperer. Yeah. No. I am worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? Yes, Jack. It's gonna be fine. Oh, you know. I promised myself. I promised myself once. I would never let anything happen to you. Not yeah. Thing is, you're already I'll dead. Fine. Ah, that would suck. Your freaking father you. is in your freaking <laughs> demented stuff, whatever this is. Right? Reality. All right, Jack. Why is he wearing that mask? Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Yeah, it's bright. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. Oh, I bet not. It didn't make things I would hate easier. to have that. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack... Oh, so she helps people cross over. Like, like, she is the ghost whisperer. Too, Daddy. Yeah, she's the ghost whisperer. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. I see dead people. Divided. Torn between two realities. Hey, I'll call them solve no problems. But, no. I was the only one. Seven days. Oh, it's like the ring. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. 
if this is a joke. Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts Oh. With a dead girl. He knows the dream. The Neva Resort. Find me there. How Please. does he know the dream? The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. How You're does he know that chance. dream? Hello? Hello? Shit. What is this intro? Why are there like live action people in an animated game? That is weird. Okay, that's freaky. I hate freaking weird experiment doctor horror movies. Eh. I like the soundtrack though. Really mysterious and the medium. I went on nothing but a hunch. Well, Recall he did mention your dream. Stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts. And it's not an instinct. About this guy, How the heck would he know your dream? I felt like I should know him. Either way, yeah. he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel. Then like we should leave. Off about that place. You're gonna get trapped in the wrong place. Well, that's gonna be where we end the first episode of the Medium. That was such a good it way to introduce the game. The way it starts to the way it gets here. The way this one guy calls her on the phone and knows her dream. Yeah, now we need to figure out who this guy is. So join me next time, and we'll figure out who this guy is in part two. And I'll see you nobles in the next video. High five, nobles.